The Navy is building a fleet of robot jellyfish. I didn't know you had it in you to be that awesome, Navy. Guys, let's talk about jellyfish, because they're amazing. Scientists consider them to be one of the most efficient animals in the sea because they're able to get around easily without expending very much energy at all. They're also capable of living in these crazy temperature and pressure differences and in salt or fresh water. So when you're thinking about making an autonomous underwater robot, they're pretty much the animal that you want to mimic. This is Cyro. It was created by researchers from Virginia Tech with a $5 million grant from the Navy. Cyro is about five foot seven, weighs about 170 pounds, and is supposed to capture some of that jellyfish efficiency by using minimal motion tied to ocean currents and self-charging to keep it going for months at a time. Now, in my perfect world, the answer to, hey, why are you guys building a robot jellyfish would be, uh, because of robot jellyfish. But it turns out the Navy actually wants a robot that does something useful for their five million bucks. So Cyro's job would be surveillance and monitoring the environment, mapping the ocean floors, gathering information about currents, and studying aquatic life. And maybe more. See, Motherboard is quick to point out that the Navy is essentially building their own drone surveillance network, an undersea version of what the Air Force and the CIA are building out for the skies. They also gently remind us that the U.S. Naval Undersea Warfare Center, which is the department of the Navy that wrote the grant, is the same department that supposedly attached hypodermic needles full of carbon dioxide to dolphins in the 70s that they would use to blow up divers. They also allegedly put spring-loaded traps on trained sea lions that are supposed to just shoot out and tie people's legs together and sink them. The implication here is that Cyro could be outfitted for combat. A robot that big is obviously built to carry a large payload, so that payload could potentially be some sort of a weapon system. Now, I don't think there's anything I find more terrifying than the idea of a creepy, giant, undulating, weaponized jellyfish. But that's all kind of like the dark side of speculation. And right now it's nice to think about Cyro doing the work that's being advertised, right? Helping us to create a huge network of autonomous observation and cleaning robots that'll help us learn more about the ocean. Because the ocean is basically just an outer space that you can dip your toes into right now, guys. It's full of unexplained phenomena and all kinds of alien life to figure out. What do you think of Cyro? Friend or foe? Let me know and subscribe for more D-News.